Hey everyone, it's Hannah from Better Lettering. Today I am showing you one way that you can blend your Tombow dual brush pens. I'm actually using um, all four new colors from the Tombow 12 new Tombow set. Um, so the first color I start out with is Opal, number 910. I usually find a really light color to begin with, and I used the bullet tip just to write the word that I'm going to use. This kind of gives me a guide um, when I'm doing it because I, I'm doing two different colors. So I'm doing like one color on top, one color on the bottom, as you can see. And then the second color I'm doing is number 401, Aqua. And so right now I chose to do the Aqua on top. And so if you know anything about calligraphy, you know that the downstrokes are thicker and the upstrokes are thinner. So I went in and just filled in and I did about halfway down the thin and thick strokes. And then I used number 803, Pink Punch, and I did all of that on the bottom, just filled that in. Like I said, you go about halfway down. Well, you'd start at the bottom half. Um, and then I just leave a little bit of gap in between so that I can blend them really nicely together. Now I'm just kind of going back in and filling in a little bit more blue where I thought there should be some. Now, with most color packs that you buy from Tombow, you'll have the colorless blending pen and that's what I'm going to be using today. If you don't have one of those, you can certainly use just um, a paintbrush with water. It's super easy. I don't think I mentioned this, but I'm using a Rhodia pad. It is dot grid. It's kind of hard to see that in this video, but the paper is super smooth and so it won't ruin your Tombow dual brush pens. So now I'm going in with my colorless blender and a lot of times I'll actually go through the whole thing to kind of make it look all blendy. And you can decide if you want to bring the blue down or the pink up or a little bit of both because my gap was a little bit bigger. I did a little bit of both and I think it looks kind of cool. It makes kind of a purpley in the middle. And I'm just going to go through each and every one of the letters and blend it um, until I'm happy with it. Now, just keep in mind that if you go over it too many times, then your paper could get a little eaten up by the colors because it's wet, obviously. And so that's just something to really be mindful about when you're blending. Don't go over it too much or you will kind of ruin your paper. Um, and then also you can just kind of be mindful about the paper that you're using while using your Tombow dual brush pens because the tips can fray pretty easily. That is why I chose the Rhodia paper. Um, you can use mixed media paper, but that's definitely more rough on your paper and the tips will shred a lot quicker. Um, there's also HP uh, paper that you can use that's really smooth. You just have to find the right one. So. That's just something to keep in mind whenever you do any projects with your pens. They cost a lot of money, so you want to try to take care of them with the right paper. Now, uh, I finished blending, and so I'm using number N52, which is Cool Gray 8. This is also in the new color pack. Now, this gray is a little bit darker than I had hoped. Um, but I already started and committed so I couldn't really change it but I'm just doing a shadow on this and so you can choose whether you want to do the inside or outside so just stay consistent and you'll still kind of do at least what I decided to do was I still kind of did the um, thicker downstrokes thinner upstrokes kind of thing um, like you can tell on the L and the B how I did it a little bit thinner on the outside of it. So I, what I'm referring to is if you're looking at this, the right side. So I did everything on the right or you could do everything on the left. Like I said, just be consistent. Um, keep that in mind. And Hey, if you mess up, it's not that big of a deal. I've done it plenty of times. It just takes practice. And even now I still mess up. So now I'm using the bullet tip and I'm just kind of outlining everything that I already did. It gives it a little bit more of a pop and a little bit more dimension. I really like the look of this. 
Um, this is also really easy. It's not a necessary step at all. Uh, you already got the blending part down. I'm just kind of showing you some other techniques that you can add to this to kind of make it stand out and be your own. So I'm going to finish up here. And then the last thing that I do is I go back over with the thicker strokes to make certain areas pop more. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Blending takes a little bit of work. Um, you can always test out different colors and how they blend on a separate piece of paper. I would actually highly suggest that. Certain colors blend more than other colors, or at least they blend better together. And so right now you can see I'm going back in and on the right side again, I kind of uh, thickened the strokes again so it pops even more. So I thought these colors looked really cool together. It's totally up to you, whatever your vibe is. You can even do like grayscale, which is really cool. So thanks for watching this. I hope it was helpful in kind of explaining one technique on how to blend and how to use that colorless blender that you probably have a uh, few of if you've bought um, a bunch of packages of the Tombow dual brush pens. Thanks for watching. Hit like the thumbs up if you liked this video and don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. See you guys.